Christmas began thousands of years ago. When hearts were filled with hope of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, he would come into the world and change it forever. The prophet Isaiah proclaimed it this way. For a child will be born to us, a son will be given, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, ever standing Father, Prince of Peace, and of the greatness mm -hmm. of his rule, there will be no end. He will reign with justice and righteousness for all time and forevermore. And so indeed, a little more than 2,000 years ago, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, the town in Galilee. There, he appeared to Mary, a young girl. Her friends to be married to a man named Joseph. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. You will give birth to a son, and he will be called Jesus, the Son of the Most High, and he will reign forever. Seeing Mary's amazement and fear, the angel Gabriel said, Do not be afraid, for nothing is impossible with God. And Mary answered out of her great faith, I am the Lord's servant, so be it. Mary was soon to marry Joseph from King David's family. But before they were married, she learned that she was going to have a baby by God's Holy Spirit. Joseph was a good man. And he didn't want to embarrass Mary and Joseph in front of everyone. So he decided to call off the wedding. Right. While Joseph was thinking about this, an angel, an angel came from the Lord to in his dream. The angel said, Joseph, the baby that Mary will have is from the Holy Spirit. Mary is still to be your beloved wife. After her baby is born, name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. After Joseph woke up, knowing he had heard the very word of God, his heart was sure of his love for Mary. They were soon married, just as the Lord's angel had told him to do. About that time, Emperor Augustus gave orders for the names of all people to be registered in an official census. Everyone had to go to their own hometown to be counted. So Joseph left Nazareth in Galilee and went to Bethlehem in Judea. Long ago, Bethlehem was King David's hometown, and Joseph went there because he was from David's family. Mary traveled with Joseph to Bethlehem. She was soon going to have a baby. They looked, they looked for a place to stay. But the city was filled with visitors, and there was no room anywhere. They finally found a place to rest in a stable. There she gave birth to her firstborn son. Mary and Joseph wrapped him lovingly in swaddling clothes and laid him on a bed of hay. So the Lord's promise came true, just as Isaiah and the other prophets of long ago had said. A young woman would have a baby boy, and he would be named Emmanuel, which means God is with us. That night in the fields near Bethlehem, some shepherds were guarding their sheep. They were tired from a long day's work and were dozing, talking softly with one another. The night was calm and the stars sparkled against the dark sky. All at once, an angel appeared to them, and the brightness of the Lord's glory filled the night. The shepherds were frightened. But the angel said, Don't be afraid. I have great news for you, which will fill everyone with joy. This very day, in King David's hometown of Bethlehem, a Savior was born for you. He is the Messiah, the Lord, and this will be a sign to you. You will find him wrapped in white swaddling clothes and lying in a manger on a bed of hay. Suddenly, many other angels appeared in the sky. Like a heavenly choir, they praised God and sang, Glory to God in the highest heaven, peace on earth to all. The starry night was filled with the glory of God and angelic voices.
After the shepherds heard the good news, they said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see what the good Lord has told us all about. Then they hurried off with great hope and joy. They found Mary and Joseph, and they saw the baby lying on a bed of hay in a manger. As they looked with wonder upon Jesus, they told Mary and Joseph about the miraculous visit of the angels. When the shepherds returned to their sheep, they were praising God and saying wonderful things about him. Everything they had seen and heard was just as the angel had said. A short time after this, wise men called Magi, came from the east to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child born to be king of the Jews? We saw a star rise in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard about another king being born, he was worried. He brought together the chief priests and the teachers of the law and asked them, Where, Where will, will the, the Messiah, Messiah be born? born? They told him he was born in Bethlehem, just as the prophet wrote. From Bethlehem in the land of Judea, a leader would come who would be like a shepherd for my people, Israel. Herod called in the wise men and told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, let me know. I want to go and worship him too. But he really intended to harm the baby. The wise men listened to what the king said, and then they left. And the star they had seen in the east went on ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When the Magi went into the house and saw the child with his mother Mary, they knelt down in awe and worshipped him. They took out their gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh and gave them to him. Later, they were warned in a dream not to return to Herod, and they went home. <coughs> by another road. And Mary treasured all these amazing things and pondered them in her heart. This, then, is the story of the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the true reason for the season. Let his light shine in the midst of our festivities. And, and like, like the shepherds and the wise men, we can, can still, still seek him and hear the angels' voices proclaim the good news. Christ is born and revealed. Blessed is a revelation of Christ. Christos zanavi of heitnitzav, or miala heitnitunen Christosi.